day 19 on our journey to Christmas it's almost here seems like only yesterday we were at day one and now we're just a very few days when family and friends will come and go from our households we will gather around a fireplace maybe a heater a Christmas tree we will exchange gifts and uh, and sit down and share a meal all sounds very wonderful doesn't it but yet I know that through all the joy and uh, those good times that there'll be a number of folks that are struggling and it's going to be tough for them holidays sometimes bring out sometimes the very best in us but also sometimes it brings about the, the worst a few days now we will celebrate that Christ has come Christ wanted every one of us to have hope and joy through him and that avenue was going to be that as he ascended back to be with his father and to prepare a place for us in heaven was that Christ told his disciples I'm going to leave with you a part of part of the Godhead and that is the Holy Spirit John the 14th chapter verse 30, uh, 26 records these words but the advocate the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I've said to you wow a promise that God has made that uh, God is constantly you know what that is you know what that reminder is it was put put in man and men and women at the very time of creation and that was conscious we're aware of what's right and we're aware of what's wrong we know and sometimes we choose correctly and we choose God's way and to listen and to take heed to what God's Word says but there are other times in which that we take that wrong path and we make that wrong choice of saying it won't matter this time Satan loves to manipulate and hinder children of the Lord so so too often here let me just uh, share just a couple thoughts with you before we close Jesus came to this earth to be with us and before he left he promised that as followers we have the Holy Spirit to guide us I don't know about you on uncharted territory uncharted ways it's always good to have a guide or to have directions might be a map it might be a, 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 a guided system maybe on our phone he promised us that his followers that the Holy Spirit would always be present with us not only does the Holy Spirit guide us but the Holy Spirit also also the Holy Spirit it gives us power to do God's will the Holy Spirit gives us gifts of ministry I'm not and I'm not uh, defining ministry as everybody standing behind a pulpit or or uh, standing before hundreds if not thousands of people no but the gifts that God gives to us to be sure that we're using those gifts the Holy Spirit would show us our sin and what was adverse to our Heavenly Father the Holy Spirit would also give to us strength so that you and I would be able to obey God the best part is that the Holy Spirit's always with us how wonderful it is to know the one who knows how everything works out the one who understands the consequences of every decision the one who understands the consequences of all of our lives and remains with us how important it is for us to open our hearts and our lives 
to his direction the call of the holy spirit with every moment within our within our lives what a joy and hope that you and i have in knowing that we belong in our heavenly father's family we're sons and daughters of his so on this day as we approach christmas be sure that you're his son or daughter. Not because you deserve it. None of us do. But be sure you know him because you have given your heart and life to him and you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Bow with me, please. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day. The opportunity that we have of just being together just for a few minutes Lord may we each one realize that uh, the Holy Spirit is with us right now the Holy Spirit is there guiding us directing us help us father to be obedient sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father and Lord as we as we approach the day in which we celebrate the birthday of Jesus into this world. Lord, may, may we approach it with thanksgiving, being thankful that you worked everything out. Lord, thank you for that. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day. A uh, wonderful remainder of the week. May the Lord put that, that hedge of protection that only he can give to around each one. Get all the shopping done and all the preparations because Christmas Day is coming soon. And, uh, but take time to draw nigh to God. You'll not regret it. I'll promise you. God bless. See you in church.